Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Jen and this is Fairby. And today we are going to show you how to make a service dog list. So I have made a template for you guys and it's linked below. Um, it is just on Google Drive so you can download that. Obviously you're gonna have to print it and scale it to fit your own dog, but I'm gonna walk you through what I've done and how, you know, what all you need and how this works. Just so you know what to expect whenever you click that, <laughs> it is this. Um, so you are going to have to, you know, actually scale it and figure out where it fits on your dog. I'm going to show you where it's supposed to fit on Farabee so you can kind of do the same on your dog. So there is a half of a back of a saddle pattern and then there's a pocket. So we'll go over that shortly. I've linked all of the things I'm about to show you below. You just need some fabric. I usually buy a half a yard. I've already cut out the fabric for her vest at this point. And I've also cut out fabric for a matching mask for me. This is what I have left of a half a yard. You're gonna need some bias tape. This is to line the tops of the pockets where you put your zipper. Um, if you're not gonna do pockets, then you don't need bias tape. But this is the kind I use. I just get the extra wide double fold bias tape. You're gonna need zippers. For the size that I make for Farabee, I get a seven inch zipper. You need side release buckles, tri glides, and then some type of ribbon or either nylon webbing to go in that. Whenever you buy your tri glides and your side release buckles, just make sure you get the right size for the right size, um, either ribbon or webbing you're using, because that does matter. Um, I've linked five eighths for five eighths of an inch for all of these things below for you guys. So that's what I always use. You're also gonna need Velcro if you plan to Velcro patches on. If you plan to sew your patches on, you don't need Velcro. So you can buy either this kind, I think it's a yard. You can also get a big spool of just the loop side, so the soft side that your patches stick to. You can get a, um, a big spool of this on Amazon. I'll link this below for you guys. You probably want to have a tape measure as well so you're not just eyeballing this whole entire thing. Obviously you need a way to sew. So I have a sewing machine. I just have a cheap, it's a Brother LX3125. You could hand sew it if you wanted to. So if you don't like the shape of the vest that I'm using, you can use any shape you want. The sewing part, the tutorial part that I'm gonna show you, this would work with any vest that you currently have that you like. You can just lay it flat on fabric and just trace around it. Allow about a quarter of an inch for your seam allowance though around the whole entire thing. Um, that way, you know, you have a way to, to actually sew it and flip it inside out and put it on your dog. Make sure you leave one of the flat places on whatever vest you're using open so you can flip it inside out. And then that way it's a lot easier to tuck a flat place up under and pin it and sew it flat. Part of this was filmed last night. I had a panic attack and then I felt like I was going to have another panic attack so I stopped and I didn't kind of finish the video. Um, so yeah. So this is the vest we're making today. This is actually the finished object already. I just was going to show you ahead of time so you kind of know how it's supposed to fit. So you can see the top of the vest. It needs to line up about with the top of your dog's shoulders because this part right here that goes across their chest whenever they walk, you don't want that to like make it weird for them to move. So you want it to kind of be, you know, all of this stuff right here needs to be free flowing. It's not a really big vest. What you wanna do is you wanna grab your fabric and you wanna fold it with the pretty side facing itself. You wanna take your dog vest pattern and you want to lay it on here. If you have it cut out like I do, then you'll have one side and that will allow for the place that goes over their back as well as the whole entire side panel. So if you lay it on a fold and don't cut this fold, just lay it and trace this part and then cut it. What'll happen is it'll give you one big piece um, and that'll be your whole entire back panel. You also wanna cut an additional piece that is the same shape um, with some backing fabric. So. If you want to use this same fabric you can um, i usually use something less expensive you know something kind of plain for the backing fabric so whatever you want to do on that so i'm going to cut that out and then i'll be right back so what you should have now is a piece for your front of your vest a piece for the inside of your vest and then two pockets so now we're going to put bias tape on the edge of our zipper this is just a way to make it pretty and to kind of hide the edge of the zipper. We're also going to put a piece of bias tape on 
the edge of its pocket on the top edge. you how we do the velcro part um i'm having like an anxiety thing happen so i'm kind of shaky so this is going to be interesting but fairby's here trying to help so what you do is you take your patch um, that you intend to use and if it's a velcro back then you're just going to want to cut some velcro so it'll match the size so what i usually do is i will just lay the patch out and then I will put Velcro. So make sure the Velcro is gonna be the right length for it. Um, this Velcro is uh, obviously not as wide as my patch, which is okay, it doesn't matter, or as thick, whatever this direction is. Um, but what I do is I just cut a couple strips and then I line that up on my vest. And then because I've already done one of these, what I wanna do is just make sure that my Velcro placement is somewhat the same. And the way that I do that is usually just flip it over and kinda of say, okay, so these are gonna be opposite sides. So let me just put it here-ish for the top one. Maybe down a little, okay. So right there looks good to me for this side. So then what I'll do is I'll pin it in place and I'm just using straight pins. guys I don't know exactly how I had this set up before but I think it's moved but you're gonna you're gonna get the idea all right so before I had a panic attack fun how that happens I um, had pinned this top part down so what we're gonna do is we're trying to make it match this so now what I do is come over here and I will pin the next part down and usually to do this because you're gonna do this on your first one first obviously your first side first. So what I normally do is after I get the top line where I want it, I usually just kind of lay my patch down, um, upside down. Sorry, I'm shaking. I'm sure that's probably not fun to watch. Um, but then what I usually do is just kind of pin it kind of like around the right spot, which is gonna be here. So the last thing before you start sewing this, you wanna just make sure one more time with your patch upside down that it is, you know, round about where you want it. Now what we're gonna do, we have the Velcro sewn to both patches and I know, mommy's okay. She's still helping me because I had a panic attack, anxiety attack, whatever, whatever happened. Zippers sewn onto our pockets and our Velcro sewn onto our pockets. You need to do this first so that everything, um, you don't have to sew this inside out afterwards. You're going to lay your pockets out on top of your little vest. So this is the first one. If you remember, you have two different shapes of pockets. You have one for the left side, one for the right side. So just make sure you lay your pocket on the right, the side you need it on. And then you just need to pin this top part right here to your fabric. I mean, to your, to your vest, I guess we'll call it. And then we're gonna sew it. So I'm gonna speed that up really quick. two pockets sewn on, one on each side. 
your Velcro is sewn on, your zippers are obviously installed because your pockets are there. So next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put our backing piece on. To put your backing piece on, what you wanna do is you wanna put it on actually the front side of your fabric. And then you're just gonna pin it around the edges and you're gonna sew it. So this is a super important part though. You want to make sure you leave areas for straps. So I usually leave the bottom or the front bottom corner and the back bottom corner completely unsewn. Okay, so I've sewn my back to my front and I've left one whole entire side undone. So what I do at this point before I actually put my straps on or anything is I go ahead and flip it over and just make sure that everything is how I think it should be. To double check and make sure everything is lined up and stuff and looking how I thought it was going to. So I've sewn the back panel to the front panel and everything's done except I need to add the straps now. I cut a length of ribbon that will make you know, the front part of her vest. And I'm actually just gonna measure it to this because I know this is actually one that fits her perfect. You could put a way to adjust this on the front for yours, but obviously you don't have to, but you just want it to go around the front of them. I'm gonna show you how to thread your tri-glide and your little clasp. Um, I'm using a different color ribbon just so you can see because it's a lot easier to see on this than black. So what you wanna do is you wanna take your tri-glide and you want to put your ribbon through there. So you wanna put it through there and then put it through again, so it'll look like that. All you wanna do is you wanna sew this area right here. You're gonna sew a seam going up this way. I usually um, sew over it like three times or so, and then you're gonna make a little X through here, and then you're gonna sew it again right here. So after you have your tri-glide sewn on, what you're gonna do is take this tail part right here, and you are going to thread this side of your buckle you're going to thread it in through so you're going to do it just like this and then you'll see it's going to be on one end and your tri glide's going to be on the other then what you want to do is thread this tail through your tri glide like this And then you wanna sew this new tail onto your vest. So it's completely adjustable at that point. So you'll be able to pull this and make it smaller or obviously pull it back the other way and make it larger, but it makes it completely adjustable that way. For the other end of your buckle, so this end of your buckle, all you wanna do is just use a very short piece of ribbon and you wanna thread it through. And then you want to sew that just sew it before you put it in your vest. That way you don't have to fidget with two sides of fabric, you know, running all over the place. So if you just sew that beforehand and then sew it into your vest. All right, so I've sewn all of this stuff on here. So what I'm gonna do now is we're gonna put this inside of the vest. So that was why it was super important to leave one side open whenever you're doing this, so you have room to reach. So you just wanna reach all the way in here and you just wanna put this one, this strap, into the other side. So this is the part that's gonna go around your dog's waist. Um, and you wanna put it, you know, as straight as you can. The next part is going to be the other end that attaches to your, your vest. What I like to do is kind of check and make sure that it is somewhat lined up. So like right there, it looks like it's gonna be good. Now last but not least is the front strap. Try really hard to make it straight, like in line with the zippers. So don't look at the fabric because the fabric's curved. So look at the zippers. So this is what your finished object should look like as far as the shape goes, obviously. Um, and I do wanna show you guys, whenever I was talking about sewing the tri glide on, this is what I was talking about with a little sew it and make a little X part. And this is what the inside looks like. Mine's not gonna lay flat because my front strap is not adjustable. This is what it looks like on the inside. What I do after I have it flipped inside out is I go ahead and just make a seam around the edges, like on the outside part just to keep it straight and make it look more crisp. So that's it. I 
hope this was helpful to you guys. Leave a comment below. Let me know if you do crafts. Let me know if you've sewn anything for your dog. Um, also, share this video if you know someone who would find this interesting. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and give the video a thumbs up, and we will see you soon. Bye, guys.